everyone matters. We have come too far as a nation to still cling to our primordial tribal big countries. This must stop. Diversity is a source of great strength. Whether you are Ga, Infante, Sisali, Ewe, whether you are Gonja, Asante, Zema, or whatever, or Mampusi, or any other ethnic group, you are valued as a Ghanaian. As if all of this is not bad enough, the level of violence, brute force, bloodletting, and sheer breakdown of law and order in an otherwise straightforward act of registering to vote is unbecoming of our country, especially of a country that until recently was hailed as the fulcrum of democracy in our region. How did we descend into this situation? The answer is simple. When there appears to be selective justice, when some offenders are not even placed on the hook, but are hailed and promoted and excused for being nasty and violent, the logical outcome is what we see. This situation of people dying, being harassed because they have decided to register to vote, it's not a story you can tell any child in the future. How will you begin that story? We need to show up and vote come December 7th. Each one of us must jealously guard our sacred right to vote and reject the attempts by some to disenfranchise some. We are all Ghanaians and we love this country deeply and we make contributions to the running of our country. Do not let anyone make you feel otherwise. The choice we have in this election is very clear. We can either build a Ghana where every citizen, regardless of background, is afforded equal opportunity to become their best selves, or we can continue on a path where a few people attempt to control and dictate the destiny of the people who have given them the privilege to govern in the first place. If we choose to be anywhere as a country, the destination should not include a place where a 90-year-old woman is stoned to death because somebody has decided that she's a witch. What is that? I call on our security agencies to convince us that she has not died in vain. As indicated, the 21st century is nearly 20% of the time gone, and we shouldn't be here. The very foundations of our democracy so threatened by unimaginable levels of arrogance, of intolerance, of violence, of human beings playing God, our economy struggling, our tongues tied to the roof of our mouths, our citizens feeling unsafe, our farmers unsure of when to plant crops due to climate change. 